Hi, I'm Shahida. Today I will show you how to run the UVs spectrophotometer. But before that, I will uh, elaborate or uh, I will tell you what you need to know before you run the UVs. Okay, for today we are using a Thermo Scientific Genesis 10 UVs. So because of this instrument is UV visible, so the range uh, of wavelength is around 190 nanometers to 1100 nanometers. Okay, this is double beam instrument, UVs double beam. Okay, it consists of uh, six uh, cell in here. So one is blank and then the rest is your sample or your standard okay after you already know your instrument capability uh, the range of the wavelength and then you need to know what type of sample that's suitable to run using a UV vase okay you can run a sample uh, uh, environmental sample which is such as uh, methylene blue in waste water or you can run a, a test a metal okay in environmental also okay that is a type of sample okay so after we already know our type of sample and our instrument capability we need to know what type of cuvette that uh, can be used to analyze using this UVVs okay usually we have a uh, three type of cuvette one is plastic second is glass and third is quartz for the plastic uh, the range is only a visible range so if you have a sample that the cause that the wavelength or it absorb the wavelength in the uv range you cannot use a plastic a cuvette to run your sample and then the second one is glass glass cuvette can run a visible range also but uh, the visible range is up to 340 to 900 only if you have less than that you need to you cannot use the glass cuvette okay the last one is a quartz cuvette this quartz cuvette is very expensive but you can run uh, the uh, sample from the UV and until the visible wavelength which is 190 to 1100 actually cuvette uh, uh, quartz cuvettes can run up to uh, 2500 nanometers Hi, so now I will show you how to run the UVs. But first, we need to uh, prepare our uh, standard or our sample. For today's test sample, I will use methylene blue for this test experiment. As you can see, in this methylene blue, we can see here maximum absorption in water is at wavelength 663 to 667 nanometers okay so these samples i dilute with the ionized water in 10 ml uh, of water okay so this is our cuvette i'm using a glass cuvette for this test experiment so as you can see the glass cuvette has two surface one is frosted surface and one is clear surface so please beware don't touch the clear surface just touch the uh, frosted surface only this is to avoid any transmittance uh, light uh, during the experiment okay so right now we just pour the sample into the glass
So first you need to turn on your instrument. So let the instrument initialize and then once the instrument is ready then you can run your sample. So for today I will show you two tests which is scanning and also basic ATC. Okay, so for this instrument, there are several test type or test method then that can uh, be performed. Okay, for example, you can perform a standard curve uh, analysis using this instrument. Okay, but for today, I will show you only scanning and basic ATC. So for our previous sample, Metlin Blue, already put in the cuvette and also we uh, we need a blank solution so blank solution is uh, water because i use the ionized water to dilute my sample but if you use a solvent so you need to use a solvent that you uh, use to dilute your sample as a blank okay so right now we go to scanning and then we just uh, put the measurement start with length and stop with length because of this i know already the wavelength is around 663 to 667 when it diluted in the water so i will use the scanning is around 400 to 800 so how you want to enter the wavelength is go to start wavelength and then enter and then just put your desired wavelength enter again and then stop wavelength where is the wavelength will be stopped same enter put the wavelength and then enter so this one i want the measurement measurement mode is absorbance okay okay after all of this is finished we can run our sample okay so we need to put our sample in here okay this is our sample compartment as you can see there is b which is blank one two three four five compartment okay so blank we need to put in here the light will go through like this so you need to make sure your clear surface clear surface is facing like this okay so if you are wrongly put the frosted surface like this then the measurement is wrong because there is no there is a lot of uh, interference for the light okay so make sure like this and then your sample will be at B same also position and then just close your compartment run sample okay now we need to do a baseline collection okay so collect baseline but first we need to make sure the cell is at blank position so to make sure there is a blank position we just click this one blank and then this will appear blank okay and then we do a blank correction after finish the collect paste line and then you can measure your sample but first you need to change the cell position to cell 1 okay once the cell 1 is appear here and then you can press measure sample this scanning mode is used to scan uh, the wavelength and then we can find the lambda max using this scanning method as you can see this is the absorbent and then this is the graph 
to find where is the lambda max which is the maximum absorbent uh, where maximum absorbance we need to click tabular so here we scroll down until we get the highest absorbance so the highest absorbent is around 2.617 so the wavelength is 666 so as you can see at the bottle is 663 to 667 means this one is within the range okay so we already have the lambda max now if you, you can run the all the standard uh, solution okay let's test is basic ATC okay so go to the test and then click basic ATC okay as we know that our wavelength is 666 so we set our wavelength is 666 and then just click enter okay make sure your wavelength is correct okay so first we measure blank So the blank will be zero. Okay. Now we measure the sample. So just change the cell position to cell one, and then the absorbent will appear here directly. Okay. So this is the simple test to run a UV sample if you already know the wavelength if you don't know the wavelength you just can use scanning choose a lambda max and then uh, take the lambda max and put here and then just run uh, one until five sample using this basic ATC so that's all thank you